Hey guys, how are you today? All right, so we are here back from a long absence with my messy sketchbook. <laughs> um, those of you who are unfamiliar with my messy sketchbook, I will link it. Um, link it. I will link at least one of the other videos or playlist in the description below. Um, sorry, I'm rebooting my computer. That's the, the noise in the background. Um, anyway, I will link at least one of the videos or the playlist in the description below so you can take a look and see what I'm talking about. Um, it was in a recollections version of a traveler's notebook. I recently got a hold of another one of these custom keepers from my friend Shannon Green. These are made out of old billboard vinyl um, and they are cut you know from a big billboard so you never know kind of what piece you're going to get um, and what it's going to look like on the cover. They're all different. They are paintable and collage, you can collage on it and all that kind of stuff and I have done that with one of them. This is the same size. This one has been painted and collaged on and then sealed at least on the outside. I didn't do anything. The inside was plain. I left it. On this one here for the messy sketchbook, I kind of like the idea on this one of just leaving it as is. So I think for the moment that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty happy with it. I took all of the notebooks out of my old, the old uh, recollections one and put them in here. Scrap piece of paper. Um, <clears throat> these are moleskin cahier notebooks and they fit in here really well and I have three of them in here and then I did also get this tool keeper from her this is a new thing and I'm gonna call it a tool keeper but as of filming this I'm not sure what she's gonna call it if it's currently listed on her website I will link it in the description below and I will link her store for sure she has these um, custom keepers in a lot of different sizes and like I said this is a new addition that is something you can get and look at that it holds it'll actually hold more markers pens paint brushes uh, you, you know you could put a paper clip on the little elastic loop and hang a gift card an old gift card with like washi tape on it from there. Like you could do so much with this. Um, you could put a pair of scissors in the loop. There, It's just, it's a really great idea. And you can do it on the inside, but you can also do it on these other sides too. And it's adjustable. So she's got toggles here. So if you need to make your loops um, bigger to accommodate bigger tools, you can do that. So I put all of my messy sketch drawing tools, as you see I don't use very much, um, in here. And I put my three no notebooks in here. And I've been working on, and I haven't done a lot of messy sketches in here. The first one was done in 2016. It is currently January 3rd, 2018, and I've only gotten this far. <laughs> That's really bad. So I'm going to try to work on this journal. Um, what I did notice was that something I liked about this journal is before I started sketching I went through and I um, did some sort of inky painty thing on the backgrounds that's already there and then I do the sketch on top of it. I really like that and I like that idea but I couldn't remember what I did. <laughs> How bad is that? So I had to go rewatch one of my old videos to see what I did because I couldn't remember. Um, and I've the reason I wanted to know was because I have ran out of pages. So these are all from 2016, 2016, 2016, and then 2017. Um, December. This is December 29th, 2017. This is October 2016, so almost a year. That's how long this sat. I do like to do like, daily sketches. I just stopped doing them. Um, so I'm back to doing them. So anyway, we're going to start here. <laughs> I'm going to clip this off. I'm going to fast forward through the process. I'm going to try to ink up a bunch of pages and let them dry and set it aside and uh, get things ready um, to do some more sketching. I'll be back.
Okay, so I've put clips in between all the pages. As you can see, I was a little bit of a gorilla with the paper. Um, when I do this, the paper gets pretty wet and you need to be pretty gentle with it or you'll do this. I'm not super concerned because that's just another opportunity for background embellishment. Um, what I will probably do is, I'm gonna, I saved the piece, you can see it right there. Um, after everything is dry, I'll probably fix it with a piece of uh, paper washi tape or ma plain masking tape and tape it in. Um, I say paper washi tape because I want to be able to sketch over it. So I won't use any of the washies that have like the plasticky coating. Um, and more than likely, I will just use a piece of plain old fashioned masking tape uh, to fix it. Probably a little piece on each side. I actually have some masking tape that ha is different widths. So I'll probably use like a fat piece on one side and a couple skinny strips on the other. Something like that. Anyway, so I'm going to let this dry and then it's going to go back in the book and it's all ready to do some more sketching in. If you would like to see what I do in this book, I don't always make videos, but I do post the pictures to Instagram and Twitter and my Facebook feed. So go to the Linktree link in the description below and you will find every place you can find me on the internet. All of my social media, my website, my online stores, uh, ways you can support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook, all that stuff. It's in the Linktree link, so check it out. That's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing besides liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel and my video. That is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.